All right, Hayes Omega here, and welcome to another Hayes Omega's desktop anime figure show and tell with Naoe Kanetsugu from Samurai Girls. Yucca Real Run Samurai Girls. All right, it's an anime that came out a long, long time ago, and it's one of Hayes Omega's favorite animes because it still shows boobies. <laughs> okay, there's plenty of boobies in it. All right, um, so I got this figure from Amiami for 5,580 yen, all right? I've been trying to buy this figure for a while, all right? 5,580 yen, it's about 40, 50 dollars, somewhere around there. Pretty good deal because I saw, I saw this figure cost like, no, this figure cost 9,000 yen when it first came out. So it's pretty much like half the price, all right? And it's Alter, okay? It's made by, it's produced by Alter. So you know it's good stuff, all right? Hayes Meg is a big fan of the Alter stuff. That is, like one of the highest quality um, production companies of figures that uh, Hades Omega acknowledges. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, the shipping was seven thousand eight hundred twenty-five yen, but I had it shipped with a bunch of figures, and it was like a surface mail. So you figure, I got a dig, I got a big discount on the on the shipping type of deal. Okay, I'm not even gonna mention it <laughs> type of thing. Okay, this is a a pre-owned figure item b box b all right it says there's a little barcode thing there's a sticker underneath it that says bb okay so i don't know why all these uh samurai girl figures i'm getting are all bb all right all right so i do have another samurai girl figure um i have the jubei all right the jubei the alter jubei okay and it was really really good i found like it was perfection all right i'm really i didn't find any flaws with it and it was beautiful okay so that's what i'm expecting from this that's why i had to have one of these all right i have two other now i have a, actually I have more than that but <laughs> um, i have the swimsuit one but i have two other naoi kanetsugu figures from penguin parade that i just did figure show and tells on so check those out if you want to check those ones out all right but this one i i think i'm probably going to keep all right um this is a the altar this is my the highest standard and i i'm pretty sure this is going to be like hades omega is going to be pretty happy with this one okay okay so let's go take a look at the box so like with all, it just seems like all the samurai girls uh boxes themes are flowers all right there's a lot of flowers lots lots more color in this one though okay um, you've got like i think they're like roses or something okay red flowers and then i think this is like a chrysanthemum maybe sort of kind of so like japanese looking flowers all right with a purple border around here uh the box opening is not actually that big i would say that's man that's like a 50 percent window so would this make a good box figure i guess so if you wanted to keep it in there like that and one thing i'm noticing is there's not any plastic protection film in there so i think whoever had this ditched it and then you know when they sold it they didn't it wasn't in there okay um, so here it says Yaka Ryoran Samurai Girls right here. Okay, one eighth scale pre-painted figure sculpted by Makio Munitoshi, presented by Alter. So, yeah, so all the stuff in this, some of the stuff is in in English. So that's interesting. The all the Penguin Parade stuff was all Japanese. So that was all imported stuff. It says Naoe Kanetsugu here. Okay, and it says it in uh, the kanji, right? And then you've got altar down here. Okay, you can see the figure inside. Um, I think it would make an okay box figure, but I think I'm going to take her out of the box. I'm probably going to put her next to the Jubei. Oh, sorry. When I rotated the box, like it didn't, uh, <laughs> it didn't fit the shot anymore. It's kind of weird. Okay, so here you've got a front shot of the picture. All right, and then it says Naoi Kanetsugu. Same information right here. It says Hobby Japan 40th Anniversary, all right? Hobby Japan X Alter. So this is kind of like a collaboration between Hobby Japan and Alter, all right? I think Hobby Japan does a lot of the um, Samurai Girl figures, all right? Uh, yeah, you can see some some tears in the box here and here. Yeah, not, not in the best of shape is what I'm going to say, okay? The window isn't very clear also. There's a lot of scratches on it and stuff, so I'm probably not going to keep it in the box. The box is all right. It's really big box, too. Okay, so here's the back of the box. Here you've got a full shot of the figure right here. 
Okay, here you got the booty shot right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here you got a shot of the front and then of her face. Okay. And then, yeah, the same kind of floral background. All right, and then here you got another angle shot of her, the actual figure. Yeah, some, this altar is scratched out here. This is kind of ripped right, ripping right here. You can see this kind of, the the box art's kind of cracking there. Okay, and then, oh yeah, there is a Hobby Japan sticker right there, okay? All right, let's take a look at the top of the box. Top of the box, there is a little window in to let some light in. All right, and the same information on the top, and then on the bottom, there's the other information, all right? So, there's another Hobby Japan sticker right here. Okay, and then, yeah, this is, I think this is the Ami Ami barcode right here. It says BB. Okay, so the figure is a B. It's a B, all right. Um, it says 9,240 yen. Okay. So, it's about $90. 90 US dollars. $90 was a lot back then. Not so much nowadays. Okay. So yeah, this was a high back in the days. I, I don't remember what let me let me check when this was when this was made. So this was made circa August 2013. Alright, so ten years. This figure is ten years old. Alright, this uh, this actually came out when the uh Samurai Bride the Penguin Parade Samurai Bride figure came out. Alright. So this is kind of a vintage figure, that's what I wanna say. Okay, so let's do uh let's do the unboxing. But yeah, so interesting story about Hades Mega's quest to find this figure. Um, I would see this figure pop up on Akiba Soul, right? Akiba Soul has this uh, pre-owned waifu section. And I've seen it two, maybe three times. And like, I'll see it and then I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll, when I get home, I'll buy it or whatever, you know. And then somebody buys it already and it's gone. I'm like, what the heck? And that happened to be like three times. Okay, so I finally saw it. I saw it on Ami Ami and I was like, oh, and I was buying a bunch of figures and I said, hey, you know what? Why don't you just finally get that Nao Kanasuka figure? And so I did, all right? So, <laughs> all right, it took about, probably took about three months for me to get it shipped, okay? So, uh, it would have been nice to get a better quality box one, but we'll see how she is when we take her out of the box. Okay, the box is just white inside, all right, but it does say, it does say Samurai Girls. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I know the, the, the plastic thing is not very stable, guys. <laughs> there is an instruction manual also. Right here. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. This just looks like there's some assembly required, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, there she is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this was very hard to assemble, all right? And I don't know if this is gonna be good for like the future as well, <laughs> say, all right? Um, so it, she comes in one, two, three, four, five pieces, all right? So you've got the base, all right? Um, she has, she's mounted by three pegs, all right? There's three plastic pegs sticking out. Um, I think there's one here and then two here, one big one and one small one. And then, um, and then, yeah, you would think like, oh yeah, she's going to start drooping. She's going to start leaning forward. Well, she's got this huge counterweight here. So you don't think you have to worry about that guys. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, so to get the hammer in there, you've got to take her, I'm not sure. 
I, you can take this, it tells you to take the pigtail off, right? One of the pigtails. So I took that off. I noticed it was loose already when I took it out of the box. See, I was like, oh, let me put that in there more. And then I found out, oh, you got to take that out to put the hammer in. So I took it out. You slide the hammer in through a hand. All right. And it didn't have this end on it. There's two different ends. All right, guys. Uh, there's one with the chain on it. All right. And then there's one without a chain. All right. Just the pommel. I chose the one with the chain. All right. And then, um, and then, yeah. And then that's, and then, so getting this thing to stay on there properly was really, really difficult. All right. Um, they give you this stand for it. All right. This thing doesn't work very well. It just rotates and rotates me. I don't know, man. Um, I have a feeling maybe her arm might break off later. I'm not sure. So literally the only thing that's really holding her on, like it's touching her shoulder. I'm sure her shoulder is probably all scratched up now, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, what I did is I, sh I moved the hammer all the way down. All right. She's holding it. And then, and then, yeah, it's kind of resting on her shoulder. All right. So she's a strong girl. So I'll tell you that, man. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't I couldn't get it to work with this thing. I mean, I guess you could but if like you have like an earthquake or something It's just gonna fall down man. I'm a, when I put her inside the case Maybe but you know what it looks fine the way it does right now, you know And you don't have this kind of goofy stand sticking out of it. All right. This does actually doesn't stay on the stand with it, too. So um, So I kind of don't like that with the assembly um, by far. This is the worst how, how you assemble the hammer how you put the hammer in there. It's like the worst one. All right I've got the one where she's got it behind her back, and I've got the one where she's like kind of just propping it up. But this one is the worst one around her shoulder, but it looks the coolest. <laughs> I'll tell you that, all right? Yeah, it does kind of look the coolest. And you, yeah, you can really see it, all right? Um, okay, so uh, let's do a quick 360. I'll take a look closer look at her. I'll tell you this, I'm going to be very, uh, very happy with this one, all right? It's the only thing I'm not happy about is that hammer, <laughs> okay? Uh, I have to say that whoever had this figure, oh boy, uh, <laughs> I have to say whoever had this figure before probably didn't take the best care. The box is literally falling apart, so I'm definitely not going to keep her in a box. It actually, for how big the figure is, it doesn't actually take up all that much space, right? Except, yeah, huge hammer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a closer look at her, and then we'll come. I'll come back and we'll 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 take a closer look at her. And then scrutinize the figure if there's anything to scrutinize. Okay. Okay. I've looked her over and I have to tell you, like I thought she would be, she's pretty much perfection. All right. So like, like the, like the other alter samurai girls figure I had of Jubei, she was perfect. All right. And so that, that speaks a lot because I've looked at two now kind of Tsugu figures just now. And I found all sorts of, like they were good, but I found like all sorts of kind of QC issues. There's not, there's not really any QC issues with this. And if there were, I, I feel like it's probably because the previous owner did something or, okay. Okay. So let's, uh, let's start at the base and we'll work our way up. Okay. So there's the base. The base is kind of vanilla. Okay. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think out of the three bases, I think I like the Samurai Bride uh figure base the best all right it was like a gold color this one is just a kind of white color all right it's flat or it doesn't wobble at all very nice it's like a it's like a gloss white all right it's gloss white with a gold samurai girls written here all right? and then it's got some like sakura petals golden sakura petals okay and it's oval it actually doesn't take up all that much space it's pretty narrow Okay, like I mentioned, uh, there's uh, three pegs that hold her up. The the one here, and then uh, a bigger one, and a smaller one here. Okay, uh, this, that's sufficient enough. I wish there were like steel pegs or whatever, but I think it'll be okay. Like um, the way the way she's leaning, she's leaning forward, right? Mm -hmm. But the hammer is there to kind of not do that. All right, so <laughs> so hopefully hopefully it'll it'll be okay. I'm not sure. But I'll try to put this little stand when I when I got her where I want her. Okay, I'm definitely not going to keep her in the box because the box is just in kind of bad shape. And I think I don't think this is that good a box figure compared to the other ones. All right, the Penguin Parade ones. Okay, so let's go take a look at the feet. All right, she's got the uh, the kind of high heels. All right, the high heels that the samurai 
the Samurai Girls now Kanatsugu wears. All right, it's a kind of like a light purple color or kind of light, kind of pinkish purple color. It, I don't know, the paint looks really good. I don't know if it really has any shading, but it looks really nice. That's what I'm gonna say. There's a little Y symbol in the front. Um, the other one I have doesn't have that. <laughs> yeah, I can do a lot of comparisons there. Uh, so you can see her, her stockings going into them. There's it. Um, there's a buckle that wraps around the leg. It looks. It's got like a kind of like a steel, shiny steel buckle. It looks really nice. Okay, just like the other one. The other one was like the other one didn't have a buckle back here though. Okay, so there's like a buckle on the very back, and a buckle on on the sides. All right, on each side. Very good. I can't really see any problems with them. This is not all the way down. I just noticed. Okay, I just. Put her down there, probably put some fingerprints on it. Um, okay, so let's go take a look at her legs. All right, or let's take a look at the stockings. All right, so this, I actually kind of like these stockings better than the uh, than the Samurai Bride ones. All right, she's wearing the long kind of kind of black stockings with the uh, with the petals on one leg. All right, very nice. I like it. Very cool, very well done. Um, it does have shading, all right? It's kind of got like a black, it's got black shades and maybe it's kind of like a gray kind of stockings almost. Okay, very nice. You can see the stockings bunch up here a little bit where her knees are. Yeah, here also. What about the back? Yeah, it gets darker around the back here. Okay, and then there's a, a white band around the top of the stockings. Oh, it does say something on the other side. All right, there's some kind of kanji on the other side. I can't read it, so sorry, guys. But yeah, there's some kind of kanji on the other one. The other, the other figure I had did not have that. All right, so this is more accurate a figure, is what I want to say. Okay, and then so let's move up. Okay, let's take a look at the skin, the on their thighs. All right, guys, this is one of the best things about this figure. You get a great booty shot, guys. There's a great shot of the booty, all right? Like, I don't know if she's, uh, you know, if you look at the back, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> you get the booty, all right? Um, so, yeah, the other figures didn't really show any of the pansy, but you can definitely see it. She's, You can tell she's wearing white, all right, guys? And, yeah, I don't know if you can see any kind of camel toe or anything, but, yeah. Skin looks good, all right. It gets a little darker where it goes um, between the uh, the stockings and the skin. Just a teeny tiny bit. Skin is nice and smooth. It Not too shiny, not too flat, just right, okay? You can't really see the front all that well because, yeah, she's bending over and like the skirt and everything is blocking everything, okay? But yeah, that's the skin that she's showing, all right? That's the fan service she's giving you guys, <laughs> okay, guys? All right. So what's next? Uh, let's take a look at her outfit. All right, yeah, it's kind of hard to take a look at her outfit, but but yeah, she's wearing that same kind of suit from the top. All right, oh yeah, yeah, the skirt. Let's take a look at the skirt first. I for totally forgot about the skirt. All right, yeah, she's, she's wearing a gray skirt. I think in the other one, she, it's like a, a plaid, a red plaid one, but this one's a gray one. All right, it's a gray pleated skirt. There's a couple scratches on it. Like there's some scratches here, like you can see white scratches and stuff. Yeah, I I don't think it's I think it's the previous owner that did that. I'm not sure, man. Okay, you can definitely see the pansu. Okay, it's a very very short skirt too, by the way, guys. Okay, and then so the suit looks very good. The white on uh, the white borders around the collars look really good. I noted on the uh, uh, on the penguin parade one, it didn't look that good. All right, they didn't look very solid. They look kind of Overbrushed. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, it looks if it looked like they brush painted it. All right, and there's it's not very consistent, but it looks very smooth here. Okay, um, the sleeves are kind of a white and black, sorta, or white and gray. There's kind of a kind of a black stripe going down this way, or a gray stripe. And then there's like a band around here. Very nice. Everything looks great. Right, the back of the figure looks good. Uh, you can see a lot of creases and stuff because she's arching her back. 
right you can see a seam line here but that's like the natural seam line from like for like a jacket or something okay and then there's um there's like a white border that goes around the, around the bottom looks pretty good you can kind of see that it's like kind of two pieces also like there's a white there's a white layer and then there's like the black layer on top so maybe that's like a different liner or something on it i'm not sure Okay, you get a good look at her tie. She's wearing a red tie here. Okay, and then she's it's white underneath. All right, she's not showing any of the boobages. The uh, the sam the samurai girls the penguin parade one was a cast off by the way, guys. So you could take her jacket off if you wanted to see her lady bits. Okay. Um, she's also got a rope tied around her waist. All right. Um, there was some. Uh, plastic around there so i that leads me to believe i don't think this figure has ever been displayed maybe i think they just kept it in the box like the whole time all right um because that plastic was still there and it was very hard to get out i had to cut it out with scissors all right that's that's what i did so all right but yeah it's it's like kind of like a, a big really thick rope and it holds the gourd right here right here on her on her left hip all right she's got the same gourd on the penguin parade one this one looks a little bit smaller and it's a different color. It's kind of like a teal color. And then the cork on top, it looks, it's, they, they actually tried to make it look like a cork. They tried to add that, you know, that kind of cork looking material. But it, I don't know, it looks all right. It doesn't look super duper corky, but <laughs> at least they tried to, they added a little more detail to it. There's like some kind of label or sticker on the side here. All right, that's white with black borders, looks good. It doesn't look like it's been applied totally flat because like you could see like creases and stuff in it where it's trying to come off. Okay. Um, yeah, and it is, I think it has some kind of shading, a little bit of shading on it maybe. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay. And then, and then, yeah, you could see her arms. One of her arms is holding her other knee right here. She's wearing those red fingerless gloves. All right, does she have any kind of fingernail polish? I'm not sure, I don't think so. There's something on her fingernails, that's for sure. All right, I think they made it, they put some glossier paint to make it look like a fingernail. Very good detail, attention to detail. All the paint is within the lines. The uh, the cuff is a rope around it, all right? That's like, like the same rope that's around her waist. All right, same with the other side. Pretty cool. Okay, and then yeah, her arms. She's got some very. So, you know, for for being able to carry such a heavy and large weapon, she's got like them pretty wiry arms, guys. <laughs> yeah, she's not a big girl. All right, <laughs> so what to say? She's one of the shorter ones. All right, but she's she's really cute. Okay. All right, let's go take a look at this hammer now. All right, there it is. I had to zoom out all the way just so you guys could see it, all right? So let's start at the bottom of the hammer or on the right side of the hammer and we'll work our way to the left, all right? So the the pommel, you can change. You can change it to one with a chain and without a chain. I chose the one with the chain. The chain looks very nice. It's uh, kind of like a gunmetal color, that's what I'm going to say. It's, it's glossy. You can see the light reflect off of it really nice, nicely. And the end has like a, I don't know, like a round kind of, thing on it all right so it's kind of like a whip also it's like a chain whip almost i don't really know it i haven't watched the anime in a while so <laughs> maybe i will after this okay all right let, let me zoom in a little bit okay so let's go check out the rest of this hammer all right so um so from the pommel there's these kind of red lines that go around here all right um i think i don't think any of the other uh any of the other ones had any of that stuff all right and and it's kind of like a a glossier paint the paint is nicer on the handle than other figures okay this wrap is different all right there it's like wrapped with like a belt or something and then it's tied off over here it looks much cooler and it's like it's got shading and stuff and depth to it and everything texture really nice all right and then the the base of the uh, hammer looks nicer all right it's got those red lines around it Okay, and then here's the uh, the part that um, the little design at the base right here. That does look kind of plasticky a little bit. 
is what I'm gonna say. It's kind of like a gray color. It looks like kind of gray plastic. <laughs> okay, now let's go look at the actual hammer itself. Okay, so the, the actual hammer is like a gold color. Um, yeah, it has a gold color and it has that flower pattern around it. Very similar to the, the one on the Samurai Bride one. All right, but um, but this one is like, it's it's from the Samurai Girl. So this, I think this one is more accurate as well. I say it's more de it's definitely more detailed than the other um, Samurai Girls figure. Okay, and it just kind of goes around the whole thing. Let's see if I can get most of it. Okay, and then so this is a lot different than the other figures. Um, there's a toadies in there, <laughs> okay? The gates, you know, like the gates of the shrine. One, two, there's three toadies in there, right? And I think there's another three on the other side. Yep, there's three more toadies in there. So what what amazing attention to detail is what I'm going to say, all right? And you've got kind of got these gold kind of trim here, designs and stuff. The toadies are red with the black tips. Um, and there's like a, like a door inside. Yeah, it's like a little shrine or something. You know, it, that that is what it is actually. This yeah, it's, it looks like a shrine. That's what it is. All right, and you've got like an emblem right here. All right, it's like a moan or something. I think uh, I'm not really sure what this says right here. Yeah, so this is definitely is the most detailed out of all the uh, the other hammers. Okay, even though it's a pain in the ass to put on, but <laughs> okay. And then there's the top right there. It's got the two moans on the top. It looks like, yeah, it's like the top of a, a shrine, all right, guys? And then, yeah, you've got these red red uh, lines going around the whole thing, okay? And it's kind of like a, it's a gloss color, gloss. It's very, it's like a metallic gold color, all right? And then, and yeah, it has this thing written down there. I think it means love or something, something, something love. <laughs> It's a, there's like a kanji on the bottom. It's okay, kinda... just so you guys can get a good look at it. That's what it says. There's a kanji on there. I, I don't remember what it says. Okay, there's it's the same on both sides. Okay, the hammer looks great. Um, I'm very impressed with their uh, alter's uh, attention to detail. Okay, and so the last thing to look at is her hair and her head. All right, so her hair is like the lighter color purple. All right. I think the other, the penguin parade, the pe the samurai girls penguin parade had like a darker purple. This one is like a lighter purple. All right, it looks really good. It looks really smooth and soft. Um, you can take the 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 pigtail off, all right, because you kind of have to to uh, to install the the hammer. All right, and she's got this long, long beautiful twin tails. All right, and she's got these bells. She's got bells and then the rope tied around her, the ends, all right? And it's like a brass color. The bells are a brass color and then it's the same white kind of rope, okay? Okay, yeah, looks good. I don't really see any problems with the hair at all, okay? It's kind of like a matte finish, all right? It shines a little bit. All right, she's got the little tag on top of her head that it's what this says on the hammer. <laughs> okay. And then, like, she does have, like, a kind of ahoge, but it's kind of hard to see. It's not as pronounced as the other ones. All right, they just kind of go up and they just kind of go follow, follow her bangs down and stuff. All right, I think she has the cutest face out of the, all of them. All right, is what I want to say. She's got her mouth open. All right. And then she's kind of looking off to the left. I think you would want a viewer from maybe like that angle or something, right? With the hammer and everything. Okay. And then like she, her hair, her pit, twin tails are tied with these red bands up here. All right, it's kind of hard to see them. I think, I think they're just painted onto the head or type of thing. So in that respect, it doesn't look as good as the other, uh, the samurai bride one is what I want to say. <laughs> okay, and so that is it. That is the altar Nao Kanatsugu from Samurai Girls. I think out of all the Naoi Kanatsugu figures that I have, this one is the most detailed, all right? This is the one I like. It, it has the most detail, okay, for, for sure, all right? The pose is okay. I think the pose is kind of cute, all right? And she's showing 
And if you look back here, she's giving you the fan service. All right. She's got a nice, nice uh, booty. That's for sure. Okay, and now Kanetsugu is one of my favorite characters in the series. She's like the comic relief for the <laughs> for the show type of thing, right? So I think I'm definitely think out of the three figures that I have, I think this is the one I'm definitely gonna keep. I think the other Samurai Girls one, I might I might sell that one. Okay, and then I'll probably keep the Samurai Bride one because that one is kind of cool. It has the armor, it has the um, it has a, a Samurai Master uh, uh, form. All right, basically, she has like the armor and everything. It looks a little bit different in this. The hammer, her hammer looks a little different also. But yeah, I like them all. Um, I think this one is nice. I like the the petals on her um, on her stockings. She looks really cute. Her hair's nice, you know, and the, just the attention to detail on everything. The hammer and her, her the paint, everything. It's perfection. Like, I couldn't really find any other problems, except there's a couple scratches on her skirt up here. Okay, um, let me take the camera off. You okay, see. yeah, like right around here, there is some scratches right here. Okay, there's here, here, and here. So something, something rubbed up on it and just scratched that. All right. Okay, so that's the end of the figure show and tell. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out. I, I will put links in the video to the, uh, the other now kind of Tsugu figures that I did show and tells for. Okay. Um, I have two Penguin Parade ones, one from Samurai Girls and one from Samurai Bride, okay? That's the second season. Um, Hayes makes a pretty big fan of this anime. And, um, and yeah, here they are. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to keep. I, I'm pretty sure I'm definitely going to keep this one. And yeah, I, I like this one because it's cute and it's sexy at the same time, all right? And it, it's very well detailed. It's got the best detail out of all other ones, all right? I'll probably just put I'll put this one right next to the Jubei. <laughs> um and then I don't know, I'll see if I can get this thing to work, man, but I I couldn't get that thing to work. It looks good the way it is right now, so pretty happy with it. Okay, other than yeah, the the way the hammer goes on, I'm I'm not a big fan of it, all right. She it's basically just resting on her shoulder. I hope it I hope it'll be okay. Um hopefully her arm will stay in the socket and it won't move her at all. Yeah. That's <laughs> the thing that worries me, man. I don't think this figure has been displayed at all too, man. Maybe I think they tried to take it off and then they put it back in. I'm not sure because they put the plastic back on around her waist. That was a pain in the ass to get out. So I don't, I wouldn't put that back, you know, but it, that plus this rope will definitely scratch the paint. All right. So gotta be careful with it. Oh yeah. There's some, some kind of like uh, triangles here also from the uh they kind of what did they look like um shinto all right that's a shinto thing right the the kind of like triangle paper triangles she's got some of them on her waist i just noticed that the other one doesn't have all right one. another thing i wanted to note is like the manual for this figure is like one of the best figure manuals i've ever seen someone actually drew this on a computer it looks just like the figure it's freaking incredible all right um, it's like a cad drawing or something you know so it shows the ponytail here. This you can change the pommel. This is how it goes on the base. All right, these are that you can change the pom pommels. How to install the the hammer? Okay, this is how to put the freaking stand on the hammer. All right, it doesn't work, man. I tried and I tried and I tried, so I said forget it. <laughs> okay, and it, it says you can you can install the hammer like any direction, like this way up or the other way up, type of thing. Okay, and then I guess you, it says you can rotate the hammer. Uh, you can rotate the pommel however you want. The chain can go anywhere you want. You can have it pointing up if you want, right? <laughs> or you can slide the hammer up and down, all right? And I have it all the way up, so it's it's um, leaning on her back or her shoulder. Okay, so that's one. I was one thing I wanted to note about the manual. It is a pretty freaking nice manual. I, the illustrations in the manual were really really nice. I I have to hand the to whoever the artist and the you know the technical writer and stuff for Alter is, they did a great job on this manual. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll get some uh, close-ups and 360s, and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll have the links to the other figures at the end of the video.